I'm going to, going to talk a little bit. We ha I've tweeted links to this and put these out. There's a, there's a couple of uh, newspaper articles, one in The Telegraph, one in, one in The Guardian, that I think j just is interesting what, what the government or the number 10 press office or the newspapers they work with, what they think a university is and whether it's positive or negative. Because there's, there's, one in the, there's one in the Guardian saying that some universities are not going to be accredited to do teacher training uh, in the way that they have been. And I don't know what that's about. It might, it might be that the, the university seems um, a bit dangerous, a bit woke or something. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking in terms of the way stories get, get planted or um, offered to newspapers. Um, I think that's what's going on. Uh, certainly the, the Telegraph had this one about visas for top graduates, um, which was exclusive to them and then announced to other people. And I, it doesn't seem to have been followed up very much, but it, it, it has... Um, there is a list, on, it wasn't in the newspaper, but online there's a list of about 40 top global universities. And as long as you graduate from one of those, it doesn't matter where you come from, I think. So some of the, some of the criticism of this hasn't been quite accurate because you could come from a, um, a far away, non-prestigious country, but as long as you got into one of, these, one of the, the list of top unis, you'd be allowed into this scheme. And uh, Rishi Sunak is, is supporting this scheme as well, um, but it just seems to me very, very odd because it's um, is is part of the apparently part of the Brexit benefits that immigration can do this, but I, d I don't see how it works with levelling up or anything like that. Um, because it's it's a and it's very metropolitan as well, so because all, all of the universities they mention are based in big cities, I think I'm right in saying that I haven't looked at all of them, but I think that's mostly the thing. Um, so I've tr I've tried to find out, for example, sort of trying to connect it with Exeter, uh, what Exeter's doing about teacher training. I don't I don't think Exeter would get on the list of top fifty globally it's very it's very odd there's no there's no sort of government list that includes or tries to relate the UK to this globalized it's as if they're two different worlds anyway I did I did tweet to ex, ex university and I'm told that the the, the um, postgraduate certificate in education is still running and I've, I've had a look at that a bit and so if you go to Exeter ACK UK teacher tr forward slash teacher training you can find quite a lot of information there. And they, they seem to be working with schools, which I think is what the government want them to do, with some uh, courses or attendance on the, on the ba base. And also there's a, there's a school direct distance option, um, which, is, which is interesting because the... The, the background I have of, of all this is how, how, how hybrid is, is working. And I would guess not a lot, because part, part of the, um, the deal with the newspapers seems to be uh, getting everybody back to work or back to normal or in the middle of cities buying newspapers on the way to and fro. And um, the, the Prime Minister is quite happy to to write about how difficult it is working at home when there's so much tempting cheese in the fridge. And that's obviously a big issue at the moment. Um, but meanwhile, I'm not quite sure what's, what's really going on with the universities or how they're represented. Uh, there's just various different stories. So if any, anybody's got any ideas about, about that, that would be be interesting.